subscribers, followers, new people. Hey guys, so I'm back here with my tutorial. This look was inspired, um, this look was inspired by me feeling torn in two directions. My dreams of becoming a professional makeup artist working on screen to the reality of the situation where everyone needs to make money in order to survive here, so. See, I sketched this out a while back and I'm going in with a NYX Jumbo White Milk Pencil and I'm sketching out where I want the areas to be. sketched out, I am taking my brush with some Veyron liquid paint and going over my lips to where I want the teeth to actually be. I'm not going to fill this whole entire section with white because I want parts of it to be red. Using the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk, I am creating the rest of my eyeball. I'm trying to keep it as realistic as possible. I'm not over exaggerating and I'm trying to line it up with my actual eyeball. As you can see here, I already did the other eye and I'm just filling this in again because with all the blinking, the crease it started to crease. And I'm setting it also with a white um, eyeshadow by BH Cosmetics, the first edition palette that you guys know I always use. <laughs> Using Wolf Paints, the uh, water activated paints, I am going in with a red and filling in the areas around that eyeball that I created. Using a black eyeshadow, I'm going in slightly and shading underneath the eyeball to give it more depth to it to actually make it look like an eyeball. I think this would be a uh, this would be a good face paint for like Halloween or something where you can just throw an outfit on and just have your face all mangled and weird looking. Now to give it a realistic look, I'm going in with the white Mayron paint and I am slightly covering the red areas with like cross hatching and making it almost look like muscle tissue I did with the eyeball and I'm creating a depth along the openings to make it look more realistic and pop. I went ahead and extended my eyebrow upward and I also started to add in the lines to give that effect of skin being pulled, like that ripple effect um, with a lot of shading, a lot of highlight and a proper position, realistic position, kind of anyway. Two directions. 
Now, starting with the eyeballs, I go ahead and I go with a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow to give it an off-white look to kind of match my real eyeball. I didn't realize the mirror was in front of my mouth. I had to like really focus because as painting the teeth, my lips were tickling so bad and I couldn't even react. So I was like trying to keep it together. Keep it together, God, keep it together. the red to give it a dimensional look to the jaw, to the gums, I mean. I cannot believe I held the mirror in front of my face for this long. I am so sorry, guys. added slight shading with the wolf paint that I was using to give it like the gum area some color and to make it look like the jaw. I'm leaving a part area so that I can create depth. See how I'm making it almost look like a C? I'm not filling it completely in because I want to in that space add black. And there goes the cat. Of course, he had to come visit me while I was doing makeup. Going ahead and filling in red, and I'm blending out the white edges. Then I'm going to go back in with a dark black like eyeshadow and fill in the areas where you see my skin. Also, I mean inside the mouth, where you see my skin that's going to be dark and shaded on top of the red. Also the sides of my teeth I'm gonna give a little bit of a dark shade to to give that illusion that it's going backwards and also I will be shading on top of the lip area to give once again that depth not so much on the bottom because I'm pulling it's it would be weird if it was too dark you know I would look my teeth would look too set back so that's pretty much it. And then again, to give the illusion, the lines really make a difference in this point. Like right now it looks like weird, but as soon as you add the lines like I'm doing right now, you really just, it really gives you that illusion of the skin being pulled in two different directions. And you just gotta make sure you use your, your shadows and your highlights. That is the best technique I could tell you guys. Shadows and highlights create amazing things. I love them. But that's about it for this. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. And thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, yada yada. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you.